Welcome everyone to the Lo-Fi Poli Side Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pickering. That's right. Lo-Fi's and low fidelity, low quality, in your face, messy as can be global news show. Here we're going to talk about that famous question, what's going on in the world today? I hope everyone's ready because it's Messy Monday. Messy Monday's weekend recap will bring you 10 fast-paced headlines from across the globe and then a piece of humanity to send you on your way for the week. So let's get messy. The news fresh off the press. The following four stories all come from Reuters World News. We begin with a story on Iran. Iran issues warrant for Trump over killing of top general. That's right, starting off messy as can be. In January, the U.S. assassinated a top Iranian general via Jones strike. And now Iran wants justice and issued an arrest warrant for the President of the United States. We'll see how this plays out, Lofi Nation. Now to Israel we go. Israel's Netanyahu and Gantz at odds over West Bank annexation moves. We've talked about it before, and now as the move to annex the West Bank draws closer, more and more people are speaking up against it, this time from within the Israeli government itself. Will the annexation take place this summer? Write in and let me know your thoughts. Now, off to the Russian Federation. Russian state exit polls show 76% so far back reform that could extend Putin rule. 76%? Damn, ain't nobody win nothing like that. Though the total tally is not yet in, and we have to wait until the end of the week, but we will definitely watch this with much curiosity and interest. Moving forward to cover the drug war in the Philippines. The story. Scores of children killed in Philippines' war on drugs. Report. After President Duterte was elected in 2016, he called for an all-out war on drugs, where police and vigilantes started the extrajudicial killing of anyone thought to be a dealer and even user. Now this report claims that well over 100 children have been wrongfully killed and is calling on the United Nations Human Rights Organization to investigate. Keep your eyes and ears open, lo-fi listeners. This won't be the last we hear of this one. Our next two stories both come from AP News International. To Western China we go. China forces birth control on Uyghurs to suppress population. We've previously known about forced internment camps of the minority Uyghur population in Western China. This, however, is a new and horrifying low for any country. While China has regulated its population's growth for the past decade or two via the one-child policy or now the two-child policy per family, this story states that the enforcement of this is far more tyrannical against the Uyghur population. We'll continue to cover this story as it develops further, as we find out more and more information for sure. We move to the United Kingdom now. UK judge warns Assange on U.S. extradition hearing attendance. Assange apparently missed his last extradition hearing for medical reasons in prison. This time, the court says unless you provide documentation, you better be there. Question, Lo-Fi Nation. Are we actually, after years of WikiLeaks stories, are we actually getting close to Assange being extradited to the U.S.? Right in. Our final four stories all come from the BBC News, World and Entertainment sections. Poland is our next stop of the day. Poland presidential election heads for a second round. The country has been led by the far-right Law and Justice Party for years, having moved Polish politics in anti-democratic directions that the EU has warned them on multiple times. Now, we could very well see the opposition win and swing politics back in the country. We'll have to wait and see how the runoff goes, Lo-Fi. Now to the United States and the state of Louisiana and the U.S. Supreme Court. U.S. top court strikes down law limiting abortions. The Louisiana law required doctors of abortions to have admitting privileges within 30 miles, The court decided that this law put an undue burden on women and noted that the court made a similar decision in 2016 in a Texas case. This is by no means, however, the end of the discussion on abortion and women's rights. Keep tuned in, Lo-Fi Nation. To the Latin American country of Mexico, we move. Mexico launches raids after assassination attempt on police chief. That's right, last week, drug cartels attempted to assassinate the chief of police of Mexico City, the capital of the country, and killed two bodyguards and an innocent civilian in the process. Now the Mexican government is fighting back against the cartels by carrying out raids on cartel locations across the city and beyond. We'll definitely be keeping an eye on this one to see how this story escalates throughout the week. And now for our last piece of news for the day, to the U.S. we go. Beyonce's BET speech, vote like our lives depended on it. There's nothing more to add to this, really. It's election season, Lo-Fi Nation. It doesn't matter what you believe. Listen to Beyonce. She's right. And go vote. And that's a brief snapshot of what's going on in the world today. Always remember that lo-fi poli is more than just me. It's the we that we be. 
Write in with questions or comments to lofipolysci at planetmail.com. Thanks for listening. Stay safe. Wash those hands. And I'll see you on the next episode of the Lo-Fi Poli-Sci Podcast. Pickering, signing off.